Hi, my name is Ed Diaz, and today we're going to learn how to layer and split patches on the Roland Juno stage. Uh, we can actually layer and split up to 16 different patches at a time. So follow along with me and let's learn how to do it together. Okay, the so first thing is we are in patch mode. So this should be the first sound that you see, 88 stage grand. So we need to be in performance mode. Okay, so if we just cursor over to the left here, look over to the left, you see it's in patch mode. I need to press the performance button. So press this button and make sure it's highlighted. Also, we can actually come in and you'll see performance. And there's a bunch of different performances already inside the Juno stage. So a lot of times we just want to set up two sounds. It's very easy. We can just split. press uh, the split button and we can easily choose between our two sounds. Or we can press the dual button right here and that automatically uh, puts them on top of each other. So here's the layer is dual and split is just that. It's split of two sounds. So it automatically sets it up for you. But what we're going to do today, and I'm pressing the performance button to go back here, what we're going to do is create a layer and split of more than two sounds. So let's check out how to do that. Now first thing I want to do is I want to just pan to the right a little bit and you see this shift button. So all I have to do is hold down the shift button and if you watch the screen, hold down the shift button, you'll see right here it says INIT, which stands for initialized. So while holding down the shift button, press number seven, and you see the line goes down to number seven. Okay, you can let go of the shift button. Now it asks you, do you want to do default or sound control? We actually want to do default, and that's going to temporarily clear out the sound so we, so we can create a new sound. So let's press number seven again, just follow the line, number seven. And it asks you, are you sure? And this is for our own safety, so yes, execute. Okay, now that we've created uh, a blank workspace to work, let's start by choosing sounds. So if I just go into part view, follow the line down by pressing number seven, you'll see that I can see all my sounds. Now it just shows four, but if I just use the cursor buttons right here, these two buttons, I can actually cursor down into here, okay, and choose the sounds I want to choose. So let's do uh, a, a layer, two sounds together. So maybe I don't want to use the stage piano. I can always either spin the dial wheel or press the enter button, and I'll do it again. Let me exit out, or press the enter button, which is just right here. Press enter, and it says enter list, and you see now I have a list of all the different categories. Now each one of these buttons here corresponds to a different category or a different type of sounds. So here's one thing to know. Say I press the piano category. You see arrows. Now in, in rolling keyboards, when you see an arrow, that means, hey, there's more there. So I'll press the arrow pointing in that direction. In this case, it's pointing to the right. Press it, and you see now I have electric pianos. And you see there's only two here. But if I go to the next category, uh, keyboard and organ, you will see there's more going to the left. You see I have a lot more subcategories in here, so I can choose. So this makes it real fun and easy to go in and start sounds. If you're not sure what a sound sounds like, you can always hold down the preview button, which is just right here. Just hold this down, and it'll give you a preview of what that sound that you're using sounds like. Okay, so let's go back and let's choose the piano category. Now I'm going to press the arrow to the right and I'm going to the subcategory which is electric pianos. For example, let's use stage phaser. So go ahead and press the enter button, which we'll be pressing this a lot, so it's just to the right of the dial wheel. So press the enter button. Now it's there. Now let's cursor down to number two and let's choose a vocal sound. So remember to choose this sound again. Let's go to enter, enter list, press enter, and now we can access some different. So I'm going to go to the vocal pad section and there's stuff here. If I'm not sure what it is, I can always hold down the preview button, which is just to the left. And I'm going to use one what I always, that I always like to use. And this one is called Morning Star. Very nice sound. So choose that one, press the enter button. So now we see stage phaser number one, 
more in star number two. Now let's put a string in number three. So once again, cursor down. Let's where we press, we press the enter button just to the right of the screen to go inside the list. Now we can go inside our orchestra section and we see all these different strings right in here. So we'll go ahead and just use that string. Great, so now we have three sounds right there. Now currently they're not layered on each other so every time I cursor up I'll hear one of the sounds. Okay, but they're not layered together. So let's let's layer them together. So here's how we do it. If I just go to level and pan this next one now I can adjust the individual levels for these sound. So say maybe I want to turn these guys down. I can have them turned down and adjust their levels. So I might want to have my electric piano a little bit hotter. And then maybe bring up my voice a little bit in here. And now I'll bring up my string for a little foundation. And now let's have it so they're all on at the same time. So in this keyboard column, just cursor, spin the wheel to the right, and now you see a check mark, which turns them on in the keyboard, right in the keyboard bed. So now we can actually hear, and if we need to, we can do any final adjustments. Okay, whatever we want in there. So that's how we do a basic layer. Okay, a bunch of sounds on top of each other. Now let's go ahead and let's create a split. So since I, uh, let's go ahead and create a split now. So once again, let's hold down the shift button and press initialize and default sound control and now execute. Good. Now remember, part view and let's go back to patch number two, press number two and now let's choose enter list go to the bass section which is over here and we can see synth bass or just regular bass and we'll use this compressed finger bass and if you're not sure how it sounds hold down the preview button and remember the preview button is just to the left of the screen right there so once I have that press the enter button which is just to the right and now we have that in there and we can put it in any order that we want uh, I probably should have put electric piano. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let me put an electric piano in there, and I'll go back and adjust it. Good. Okay. So now we have them, and let's go ahead and adjust them. So level and pan, and I'm going to turn them both on inside the keyboard just by using my cursor buttons, which are just over here, and cursoring them right there. And then I can adjust my levels. Of them. So right now, if you hear, they're actually playing together. Okay, so now let's go ahead and adjust the split level. So now I'm going to use this page button right here. So press this button, which we go down, corresponds to number seven. And now I can use number three, or excuse me, number four, keyboard. Press number four, keyboard. And now you'll see what's inside the keyboard. Plus, here's the keyboard lower keyboard upper okay and this stands for where the split point is so I might want to go ahead and have this base which was number two and I might want to adjust it down to maybe maybe about C3 okay so let's move it down and actually let's move it down to B2 which will be right here now keyboard upper that was keyboard upper. So that means the bass will only play in the lower range and once it gets up to B2, it'll stop playing. And now let's adjust our keyboard lower for the electric piano. Okay, and I'm gonna put that one at B3. Okay, or excuse me, C3. So now I can be playing here and you should hear the nice split right there. Okay. Now, I just did two sounds, but we could have done a third. Let's do another another keyboard one, keyboard sound. So, I'll go ahead and turn this on. And I'm going to make this one match or mimic what's going out on the first one. And I'll do C3. 
Okay, and let's go back up to the page. Up, and remember, where do we choose our sounds from? In the patch section. So press number two, and that's an 88 stage gland. If I like that, great, but let's go ahead and press the enter list button, which once again is right over here. And now let's go ahead and choose a basic string. So in the orchestral, which is number four, and we'll just choose that enter. And now I'll have a nice electric piano and a string, and then I have a bass in this end. And then once again, once I'm happy with that sound, I can always go in and write it. Now here's some extra stuff that we can do for you. Now if we want to, we can press, see the pitch tab? Go, curse, go down and you see you can press number four, and now we can adjust the octaves or the individual course tuning, which does this by step, for each individual patch. So I might want to have the strings down an octave. So here's them the regular octave. Now I'll put them at down an octave. That quickly. Or I might do them up an octave. That quick. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep them at down an octave just so you can kind of see. Okay, now that we've chosen this octave, we might want to make it, uh, make some uh, MIDI configuration. So let's go ahead and press the exit button that's right here. Okay, now that we have that, here's another cool function in here that I really want to show you. Control. So let's go down to control, press number three. And you see we can go ahead and have a tempo already associated with this performance that we're making. Or I can also come in and hit control switch right here, so which corresponds to number seven. And now I can tell it if I want the pitch bend to work right here. And so see right now, pitch bend, and this is my modulation. Do I want the whole pedal to work on that one? Do I want a controller pedal? So if I got if I bought an extra pedal, I can tell it to do stuff. So and S1 and S2, and those buttons are down at the very bottom right next to the pitch pin. And then this is the D beam. Okay, so I can say, you know what, since I'm doing this split, I don't, I, uh, I don't want the hold pedal to work in the bass. Okay, so now if I play this, the hold pedal will not work in the bass. Or maybe I don't want the pitch bin to work, to work up in the electric panel. So play with these functions and kind of see what you can do. So you can adjust where the pitch bend works, where the mod wheel works, where the hold pedal, the extra controller pedal, which you can get, S1 and S2 buttons, and the D-beam. And once again, once you get this exactly how you want it, just go ahead and press the right button, just to the left of the screen. It already knows its performance, so just set number two for performance, and then just name it. And we'll name this one Ed very quickly. Change the type for lowercase. And I'll just delete it. And now all I have to do is press the right button, which corresponds to number, button number seven. And then I can choose to put it wherever I want. So I might put this one in number 10. Press right. And if that's where I want it, just press execute. And now it is saved inside the Juno stage.